<laughs> that is the worst. How That's shitty the is Ted that? Heath Orchestra of Satisfaction. I love it. For the love of God, shut that shit off. <laughs> I love bad music. Dude, you know what's funny is, you know that saxophone player got laid. <laughs> he fucking played. I can't tell you how hard I was laughing when you had sent me the link to download that song. And I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad. And no, then when, it's, it's, when the trumpet came in, I just started dying laughing. Absolutely. That's basically, they, oh. were, they, they were a big band, and they were doing great music, and then rock took over. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we can fuck with this shit. Like, all, all like, uh... Like that, like the awful music that like ruins. We were talking about that, like ruins good mo movies. Yeah. I saw uh, To Live and Die in L.A. Just a fucking great movie, but like they have all this this cheesy, like that '80s music. You know what I mean? I never saw that movie, but oh. let's hear. It. It's just all the uh, the synthesizer stuff. What did you you pulled up some stuff? We're doing this bit right now. The uh, the uh, when uh, bad music ruins good movies. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if uh, I mean all, all the the artists. I typed in "to live and to die" into the computer system here, and the only artist that came up was Wang Chung. So oh, yeah, I, they I must really have done the I soundtrack. I think Willem Dafoe makes love to someone in that movie, and Wait. I literally love makes love. It's like sensual touching with Wang Dude. Chung in the background. It's like the acting is great, and every time you go to watch it, all of a sudden like that awful shit just comes in and just kept taking oh, me God. out of the movie. That is the worst. I don't know what it sounds like. You want to hear some of it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds like alleyway music. <laughs> yeah, but this is like this is like a gangster movie. Yeah. And these are like the scenes. Is it like they're like sneaking around to go into the bank? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And it's like you get into it. Oh, they're gonna rob a bank, and then they play this shit. Skinny tie running down a wet alley. Yeah. There's some smoke. <laughs> There's some everything smoke. was like a everything was flash dance like a flash dance fucking video. What was the thing with it was like, dude? It, it, that is the only instrument when they invented, or not even invented, but when they advanced with synthesizers in the early '80s, everybody felt like they had to fucking throw it into everything. Man, it ruined music. I swear to God, I like, think Scarface is like that. Scarface is a fucking. The, is it, wait, is it? But play the. A, don't play. Take it to the limit, though. Play the other one first. Play the the. Uh, the the actual like mood music, you know what I mean? Like, no, that score. is like one of the greatest movies ever with yeah. just the worst soundtrack I've ever heard. Him almost like uh, which movie? Scarface. Scarface, Al Pacino, classic movie, one of the baddest. Cutting people up with chainsaws. Yeah, <laughs> and this is some of the music. <laughs> It, it is fucking horrible. It literally sounds like fairy tale. Yeah, like you're right. You could forest. do nothing but twirl to that. He shoot people it's in the fucking head. Yeah, that's unacceptable. Yeah, there's a scene in this movie. Here, stop, <laughs> stop it for a second. Start, no. cue it up at the beginning again, right? There's a scene in this movie where he's he's tied up in the shower, and he just watched his best friend get hacked up with a fucking chainsaw. Angel. And the, yeah, and then the guy comes up to him and he's like, he's like, you gonna talk, man? And Pacino, blood and guts all over him, goes, why don't you take your head and shove it up your ass and see if it fits? Like the and then, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they they don't play that. It's thing. not, but I'm just saying it ruins the mood right, of the. What can it's, <laughs> no, I like that movie right up until he makes it. This is like sacrilegious to fucking trash Scarface, but I like it right up until he makes it. Right when he right after he offs, you know. Uh, Frank and all yeah. those guys, and once with well, that whole montage scene where he, start, where he starts uh, making money, <laughs> this is he awesome. starts playing this music. <laughs> and he's got he's got the Saturday Night Fever fucking yeah. suit, and he's walking with the cigar. Remember he's got he's walking with the cigar, and he's got the tiger in his backyard at his wedding. Like, hey, look what I'm doing. This is so fucking bad. Let this one play for a little while. They should be literally doing a makeover on Scarface, like putting makeup on his scar and just taking him through the mall to get like different kind of clothes. Trying on it, you're right. It does seem like the kind of movie. It does seem like the kind of soundtrack that you'd like fall in love to, or go just trying to like a, a series of wacky hats to. And a song to try on a that, variety that, of wacky hats and fresh nothing horses else. Yeah. Should have that kind of music. Not fucking Scarface. That it's like, like they made great music all the way through the 70s. There was good music in the 90s, but that shit in the 80s just well, dude, does not hold up. That's what I noticed. Like, this is what differentiates the amazing directors from the good directors. Like, like Scorsese 
Never fell victim to that shit. Every Scorsese movie has an impeccable soundtrack, and they're timeless. He just picks the right kind of songs. Because all his shit is about like the '60s and the '50s. But it you know what I mean? Music. Like Woody Allen does the same thing. It's all like that sort of ragtimey jazz stuff, and it's sort of you, you can't really place it, and it doesn't pinpoint a three-year period of shitty instrumentation. 